rock steady at King of the Pit TV. Yes, now, bless now. Don't forget the rest. Now, Des Rocks, Daddy King of the Pit TV. We're listening to Sports by Modern Baseball. This one's uh, Chloe K or something along the lines of that. You let me know. Let's jump straight in. It's track number four of 12. We're at the uh, the third waypoint. Come on now, a bit of mathematics. Spend my evening talking to Chloe on Twitter. Then have you come over so it'll be like old times. I know that you don't give a fuck because you're knee deep in your iPhone. One, two, three, four. But now that you saw my tweets, you know that I'm home, buried in my cell phone, trying to get a hold of someone new, instead of hanging out with you and your high school stories. One, two, three, four. But you sure know how to get right to me with all this Facebook statuses about relationships and such. Poor grammar is a must, but I trust that you can do it. I trust that you can do it, yeah, yeah. But I couldn't give a fuck whether you give a fuck or not. Rip my ass off itself. You know what, I'm surprised that that one doesn't have more views, 31,000 views on that and barely any comments, I don't know if there's an alternate video for that, uh, which is sort of garnering all of the attention, I thought that was quite good, I thought it was a unique tune, I thought it was a modern tune uh, by Modern Baseball, uh, you know, it was... Um, you know, applicable and relevant to a lot of people's day to day, and um, I thought it was good. I thought it was reminiscent of some of the uh, early two thousands emo music, where you know social media did play a big part. MySpace famous and so on and so forth. A lot of you might not be aware of MySpace famous days and all of that, but here we are. All right. Yeah, that was a good tune. I like that one. That was one of my favourite ones. I like the minimalist. Uh, well, it wasn't necessarily a minimalist instrumentation because. It was just all clean. It was a very clean sounding piece. Very tuneful. I enjoyed that. We've got track number five, Hours Outside in the Snow, uh, coming up next, all right? Yes, now, bless now. We're listening to Modern Baseball. Sports is the record. I'm enjoying it. I'm enjoying it. I'm enjoying it. I didn't know what to expect coming into this record. It's good. You've got plenty to comment on each and every, every, each and every um, uh, song, which... You know, this is King of the Pit TV, we listen to metal music here, we listen to hardcore punk music. It's very easy for an entire record to just consist of the same sound over and over and over again with very limited variation. So to have something varied such as this is just a real breath of fresh air. This one's hours outside in the snow, let's go. It's all a Christmas Eve, fake angry at you for who knows what now or then. And you spoke so fast, I just sat back, relaxed, and took you all in. I spent all the Christmas Eve trying to get warmer. After standing out. Zedbox says this album is gay, modern baseball is gay, and Midwest emo is gay. So, is this classified as Midwest emo? Is this what you call this stuff, yeah? And it has a particular sound, I assume, Midwest emo?
One of my favourite elements of the band is the drummer. I think the drummer does a fantastic job and I think the production gives a great space for the drummer to really um, shine. Gives it enough space to really showcase a great dynamic and uh, the production value is really good. I like the production. I, I, I think the actual artwork of the album does the record a disservice because I don't think it aligns with the quality of the sound we're hearing and the quality of the writing. I feel like it's a little bit of a cop-out. Yeah, I'm sure there's a bit of a story behind the image and so on and so forth, but I feel like it's a bit of a cop-out. I think the artwork could be better. No message was left on that day. That was hours outside in the snow. I really liked it when it boomed up into the, um, the... I don't know whether you would call it a chorus section, perhaps it was, but that emphasised big booming uh, space they created uh, at the, uh, the most powerful point of the song. I really enjoyed that. That was good. That was good. That was a good tune. Great melodies. Is it Midwest Emo? You tell me inform me of what Midwest Emo is. Maybe I should do a little bit of a research session on that and educate myself in that um, particular field because I, I don't know much about Emo. Uh, I think you were in my profile picture once it's track number six. It's the midway point of the record and it's where we're going next. So I'll see you there, all right, people? Let's keep going.